I'm Mark Denon with Garage Gurus. Today I want to talk about uh, proper tightening procedures for chassis fasteners. I've got a couple of knuckles here. Uh, one's been damaged and one isn't. We're going to talk about that in a minute. What I'd like to reference though is this is not the tool we want to use to properly tighten this fastener. Uh, with this we can actually damage the steering knuckle. I'm going to show you that. What we really need to have is our torque wrench. And you may want to invest, if you haven't already, into one that can actually read in degrees of rotation. A lot of these chassis fasteners now will require you to torque to a certain value and then turn so many degrees after that. And uh, we need to be able to follow that procedure to get the proper tightening of those chassis components. So let me show you kind of what happens when we over tighten one of these fasteners. I have this, uh, this aluminum knuckle, it's off a Dodge truck, and we have a ball joint stud here that fits into the taper, and I put a yellow line on here to kind of show you a little bit of a witness mark. You can see how high it sits off of the knuckle right here. So let me hold on to this, because we're gonna see if we can move this around, and notice this ball joint stud does not move in that knuckle, the taper is nice and tight against the ball joint taper that we see here. Now let's come over here to our damaged knuckle. You notice, first thing you'll notice is the stud falls farther down into the knuckle itself. Notice the line is almost now flush with the top of the, the uh, steering knuckle. Also, notice we have movement. We have movement in multiple directions. This one has been damaged by over tightening. Actually, it was damaged by using an impact to tighten that ball joint stud, or nut on the stud, I should say. And you can see it's moving around in there. Also, I've had technicians ask me, and they'll ask questions, they'll say, Mark, what do I do when I put the ball joint together and I put the stud in, the knuckle, and I go to tighten the nut, but the nut, the slots on the castle nut are actually lower than the cotter pin hole. And my recommendation then is to check that taper to make sure it's not damaged. You should not have to add washers or have to add anything to this to get that nut to come up. It's a good indicator that that steering knuckle has been damaged, maybe from over tightening or some other kind of physical damage that might have happened to it. I'm Mark Henry with Garage Gurus. For more helpful tech tips like this, check out our Garage Gurus YouTube channel. And for more information on Garage Gurus, check out our website, garagegurus.tech.